It's interesting that in our society, we use the word star to describe a celebrity, somebody that everyone knows their name. In the Bible, in the Old Testament book of Psalms, we see a very different picture of a star. A star is not special because everyone knows its name. It is special because there is one who knows its name. He counts the numbers of the stars he gives names to all of them. Isaiah tells us something else that's special about the stars. It's not just that God knows every one of them by name, it's that every one of the heavenly host obediently follows the guidance of its creator. Raise your eyes on high and see who has created these stars. The one who brings out their multitude by number, he calls them all by name. Because of the greatness of his might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. And yes, the Bible does tell us to be stars, although not by the world's definition of what a star is. Listen to this verse from the book of Philippians. So that you will prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent, children of God, above reproach in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you appear as lights in the world. Now that word light or luminary is a word that was used in ancient times to describe all of the lights that filled the heavens, the sun, the moon, and the host of obedient, faithful stars, who though they may be unknown by all of humanity, continue to follow the course that God has set out for them. So we will shine through 